The main purpose of this video is not to decide what idol is good or bad as stage presence. I usually do that on my other stage presence videos, but rather I'm trying to focus on problem areas that idols seem to have when it comes to their stage presence and the lack of improvement over the years as performers when they have showcased their stage presence abilities. Now, you're more than welcome to criticize this train of thought. Give me your own personal opinion, subjective and objective. They are more than welcome here. However, if you're one of those people who do not know how to give criticism to other people's opinions without insulting them, this video and this space is not for you. You're more than welcome to do that on your social media echo chamber spaces with equally as immature mutuals who will support your train of thought because they're just as insecure as you are and don't know how to stand behind their own personal opinions without insulting people. For those of you who are here to not only have a mature discussion, but also have fun, this video is for you. Enjoy. The Stage Presence Hive is my way of trying to make Stage Presence content a little bit more regular on this channel. There's a lot of people who love watching my content, but mainly are interested in Stage Presence content and some people who have subscribed exclusively for Stage Presence content. And aside from the ranking videos, of course, they want more Stage Presence related content and I think people really enjoy it. I've heard so many people say they listen to me when they're at work or when they're cleaning around the house or they're just doing art or homework and so i wanted to find a way to make this a little bit more regular so we can chat about it have a fun conversation in the comment section because i know you guys love to give me your input subjective and objective and once again i also want to apologize for the next stage presence ranking video it is taking forever i know but i promise it will be worth the wait when it gets here eyebrows will be raised eyes will be wide open jaws will be picked off the floor i can promise you that so let's get into today's episode so we're talking about the struggle bus. So what is the struggle bus? It is a phrase basically meaning the struggle is real. I'm sure it was started on black Twitter somewhere and usually is used to talk about people who seem to have a particular struggle that seems to be so obvious to everybody else, but not to them. People usually use this to talk about celebrity marriages, specifically mainstream rappers, marriages and relationships, because they always have to have a particular pattern. The spot, one of the partners cheats constantly. They're really sloppy with the cheating. The usually in these cases, the woman finds out that they're cheating. They fight, they argue, he buys her some stupid little gift she forgives him she has another baby with him so it seems to be like a particular pattern that doesn't seem to stop and that's why people will say she's on the relationship struggle bus or their marriage is on the struggle bus so that's my relation to stage presence this is a problem area that they can't seem to change no matter what they do and of course it could be because they don't see it as a problem specifically or it could be because they don't notice it or it is because maybe the company is not really working on helping them improve their stage presence. So without further ado, let's get into the first idol. I want to start off by talking about Shiwa of Idol. I know a lot of people are going to start complaining and saying, we've heard so many complaints about Shiwa and her lack of facial expressions, and we are tired and over it. But one thing I will say is that Shiwa's job is to be an entertainer. And if fans are dissatisfied with the way she's entertaining people, they have the right to complain and talk about it. Of course, she does not deserve any hate that comes along with it, but the criticism is reasonable and it is fair. And as someone who's been a fan of Idol, since 2018, I have a few things to say about her stage presence. First off, I'm going to talk about her lack of facial expressions. This is her struggle bus area. One thing I will say about Shua is that she's partially a dominant performer. She's also a sensual performer as well, which means she only needs subtle facial expressions to be able to perform to the best of her abilities, which means she's not required to do much with her face. A few eyebrow rouses, winks, smirks here and there would really help amplify her stage presence. But Shua doesn't seem to do anything at all. And for someone who's required so little to have 
good stage presence and doesn't seem to put any effort whatsoever in making it better, it makes it really frustrating to watch. Not to mention how easy it is for her to bore people by just watching. And I don't think that it is fair for someone whose main job is to be an entertainer to not bother to put in a little effort. To make it even worse, Shuha has been an idol since 2018. It is now 2022 and there is next to zero improvement on her stage presence. In fact, the improvement is pretty much non-existent. And I think that's what makes watching her so frustrating in my personal opinion. I'm not saying that I hate her specifically and my personal opinions on her as a person has nothing to do with her stage presence. But I honestly think that a little bit of effort on her part wouldn't kill anyone. I don't think that it means that she doesn't work hard or she doesn't care because the girl literally fainted just recently on stage. It could be because she still continued to perform for her fans even if she wasn't feeling well or it could be because because she had pushed herself and her body had just reached its limits. That's still not a sign of someone who's lazy or irresponsible. I just think that she's not working on the right places that are required of her. It's really frustrating to watch Shuha because the lack of improvement I think honestly just makes the stage presence not worth watching. I don't even remember purposely looking for her fan cams unless I had to talk about idol stage presence or her stage presence in specific. So she's really unentertaining to watch and I honestly wish that somebody would teach her what to actually do on stage because looks are great but they can only get you so far. The next idol we're going to talk about is Won Young of IVE. I know a lot of people have criticized Won Young for not having good stage presence and I get that, but I've often praised her for ability to look good, which kind of takes a lot of effort. Most people don't seem to realize how much work it takes to actually look put together on stage considering things like hair and makeup, having to look neat, having facial expressions that make you look adorable or at least in a way that will intrigue people to look at you. The problem with Won Young however is that she repeats facial expressions at the exact same timing of a song which makes her redundant and boring to watch. Because her main focus is to look good as the visual of the group, there is no innovation on her part. And because her stage presence is not innovative or at the very least does not look natural, everything looks rehearsed and it is kind of boring to watch. And while yes, she is beautiful and she looks good, I think eventually people can get tired and bored and her fan cams can get redundant. I know she still gets a lot of views for her fan cams and I think it is great because once again, she knows how to look good and to put the effort to make herself look perfect when she is performing. But in terms of stage presence, she's so redundant. I've actually built a sort of annoyance with her stage presence because if she's more focused on trying to look good instead of having the right facial expressions that suit the mood of the song, it's bothersome to watch. I've had this problem with her since she was in Eyes One. I don't know if I can fault her too much because she's kind of doing her job really as a visual. But at the same time, I think she should not forget that she is a performer and she is required to not only put innovation, but naturality to her stage presence so that it doesn't look forced and fake and kind of plastic. I actually had no intentions of talking about Dion, but I figured I should talk about her because somebody did mention that they wanted to see my opinions on her stage presence. The reason being the fact that they had an argument with some Kaplians about her stage presence and they were trying to figure out if they see her as a good performer or not. They had said that her performance or stage presence always seemed fake and I wasn't really sure what they meant or at least I had some idea but I wanted to see if we were on the same page. So the problem that I'd had with Diane's stage presence is not that she's not a good performer. In fact she's one of the performers that are definitely above average in K-pop when it comes to stage presence. One problem I've had with her though is that her stage presence often feels like a triangle trying to be fit in a circular mold. What does that mean? It means that she's a charismatic performer but she's always trying to portray a dominant performer. The badass persona of dominant performers that comes with the wink, the eyebrow raises, the serious faces. The problem is she's a charismatic performer and when she performs this way it looks very funny to me. Sometimes when she performs, her charismatic side comes out, she will smile or she will do little pouts and it actually looks really good, especially during Up Era, but she stops herself in the middle and then goes back to trying to have that dominant persona, which does not suit her archetype. In fact, the Up Era 
Sarah is a perfect example of how the dominant persona does not suit her because darker hair should help enhance her stage presence. Instead, in Up, she looked like she was conflicted between being charismatic and dominant. It was not a pretty sight to watch. I wish she would focus more on her charismatic persona, which she showed when she performed Ice Cream in Girls Planet. That was an iconic performance, not only because of the choreography, but specifically because of her stage presence. I just wish she would embrace her charismatic side, especially the way idols such as Yeso have done, because she would be really good and she would shine as a performer for that but as a dominant performer or trying to be a dominant performer it makes her look really awkward and the angles are really strange and dominant performers are really backed up with the structures of their faces and the structure of her face is simply not cut out to be a dominant performer <laughs> A lot of people explain how shocked they were by how low I ranked Joy when it came to Red Velvet stage presence and how she was my least favorite performer in the group. So maybe this will be a perfect chance for me to explain why. She will either smile or her face is simply dead for any other performance that she has. Her looks basically carry her when it comes to stage presence, especially when they perform songs like Bad Boy where her sensual side really shines as a performer. But most of the time she will have this awkward situation where she will just smile or if she doesn't she doesn't seem to know what she wants to do with her face i don't know why this seems to be a consistent problem with her but it's not helping because red velvet are constantly changing their concepts and they're not a kind of group that would just stick to one concept for a very long time and while the smiling can work at other times it certainly looks awkward and it's not helping on the moments where the smiling is not necessary when she's not supposed to smile she will just kind of stare into the camera and not know what to do with her face she doesn't do anything with her eyes or her eyebrows that really help her stand out at this point the wardrobe and her looks are kind of carrying her and i think that's one of the reasons why she's entertaining to watch and that's not necessarily a bad thing i think being beautiful is great and i think joy's beauty should be celebrated but i also think that in terms of stage presence she's very lackluster and she only has that one thing she does with her face which unfortunately doesn't always work as a performer Former. So while I think that Joy is exceptionally beautiful and she is really talented, in terms of stage presence, she's so unentertaining to watch for the simple fact that apart from smiling, she doesn't seem to know anything else to do with her face. Or sometimes you just blankly stare into the camera, which is just really weird, at least for me. It's to the mouth of honey, like a dream made of honey. Next, we will talk about Cheyang of Twice. This problem with Cheyang can be applied to idols such as Winter and Chewy, but since I use them as examples all the time, I figured it would be best to talk about a completely different idol with a similar problem. Cheyang is someone who seems to be heavily reliant on her makeup and wardrobe and apart from it, there's literally nothing she can do to entertain the audience. Well, except for her talent, of course. The one thing that I cannot stand is the fact that she doesn't do anything with her face at all. And this doesn't work for her because she's a charismatic performer. Charismatic performers really need to move their faces in order to entertain people in terms of stage presence. And Cheyang cannot seem to do that. She kind of has this doll-like face, which is cute and works for her. But when she stares blankly into the camera and doesn't do anything else, it's really frustrating. Her stage presence only improves when and if she has the these hair colors that resemble like dolls say the blonde maybe in I can stop me or kind of any pinkish sort of hair it really helps her pop out like she did in fancy era unfortunately when she has darker hair colors it really does not help her at all because she just looks like her body is moving and her face is not doing anything and in over the years as a performer in twice I haven't seen any improvement on her part she's remained that way from any and all older performances up until now while I can see a lot of changes in some of the performers in TWICE and while I know that they are stronger together than they are apart as a group in terms of performance, individually she's definitely one of the weak links of the group which is kind of sad really because she's got a lot of points that help her stand out. Apart from her facial structure of course, she is a masculine performer which is something that is rare in TWICE. There's only two masculine performers, that is her and Changyan. The only difference is Changyan actually knows how to perform as a masculine performer. Cheyang doesn't really seem to do much of that. So as talented and as beautiful as she is, in terms of stage presence, her blank face is not helping. And the lack of improvement 
over the years, I mean, she's been in the industry for probably almost, if not over a decade at this point. It's kind of frustrating to watch. I mean, I love my bias, but no, girl, no. The next idol I'm going to talk about has a set of extremely overprotective fans who very much get upset anytime his stage presence is critiqued. In fact, they'll go as far as to say that you've never watched his fan cams or you've only watched little bits about him on Twitter. I'm going to start off by saying that this man actually happens to be my bias wrecker in this group, and this group happens to be on my alt of alt list. If you've watched my previous videos, you know who I'm about to talk about. And I'm going to say that actually, I think I'll go as far as to say, I think I've watched every professional fan cam of this guy in the last three years that I've stand them. So I don't want to hear any bullshit about you don't know him, you don't stand him, or you hate him. The idol I am talking about is Son of ATs. One of my favorite things about Son is how passionate he is as a performer. Passion is a big thing that is missing in K-pop and it's something that is so rare to find. It's probably one of the reasons why I fell in love with ATs as a whole. I actually am an OT8 bias stan. <laughs> Every single time some member in that group is always bias wrecking me. So I just decided to stick to having an OT8 stan line. With that being said, Sun has a problem of overperforming, and people who want to ignore and pretend that this problem does not exist are just about as ridiculous as people who think that the earth is flat. I'm serious. It makes no sense for people to pretend that overperforming is not a problem he has. A lot of the arguments that come to defend him has always been things like, oh, he's really passionate. You were right, he is passionate, but his passion has nothing to do with his overperforming. The rest of ATs also seem to be passionate, but I don't see any overperforming from the other members, or at least to the extent that Sun does it. So you can be passionate about music and overperform. I don't know how that is an actual argument. The other argument is that Sun is a versatile performer. He is a versatile performer. And he's also an overperformer. I don't see how this argument is actually helping the situation. The thing about Sun is when music gets intense, he knows how to mirror the intenseness of the music, making it so entertaining to watch. When the music is slow, he will slow down with it. And it's so fun. And I enjoy watching his fan cams. But there are times when he will do too much. And let's not pretend that that's not a thing. He will go overboard and it's actually kind of scary, I'm not going to lie. Now, I'm not one of those people who walk around and call him names and constantly joke and call him the R word, which is freaking disgusting. And I don't think that is normal behavior. But overperforming, especially in terms of facial expressions, is a thing with Sun. And yes, I think maybe it's because the passion for performing kind of takes over sometimes. And I understand that, but... Sometimes he is doing too much and I'm just not going to pretend that he isn't just because he's my bias wrecker and I love him so much. My love for Sun does not excuse me from criticizing him when he does something that I believe is worth criticizing. That is a real thing about Sun. Let's stop pretending that it is not there. He's an excellent performer. He is one of the idols that I consider the standard. And if I didn't think Sun was good, I would not reference him so much every time I talk about idols who are great performers. But just because he is one of the idols I consider the standard does not mean I can't criticize them. And that will be the end of this video. I'm trying not to make it too long. If I'm going to make stage presence videos regular, I think it's best for me to not make them way too long because that will require too much work on editing on my part. And considering how busy I am with school and work right now, I honestly feel like it will discourage me from editing. It will make me feel a little bit more exhausted. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know your comments below and how you feel about my train of thought. And I also want to hear your subjective and objective opinions in terms of idols you believe kind of have a struggle area or problem area when it comes to their stage presence. I love you all so much. I will see you soon. Bye. -bye.